Searching for something that ain't lost Have we got we are here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, um, we're going to a forest. Ready to this been stressed. This is the hardest when you're out of gas because we thought we are out of gas, but we are overheating. Hi guys, good morning. It's been a while since we slept here at the fish pond, and since we got here two days ago, it's been raining. And hi, it's been raining, and everything is so bad outside here at the um, balcony. And also here at the fish deck, which is um, so muddy because it's kind of wet. Anyway, so we are going to harvest a few kilos today, and then we are going to we are going to sell all of the fish, the big ones and the small ones, together. Oh, 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 my fish! Nisalom. Hey guys, good morning. So today is ver very early and we are going to sell some fish because we still have fish from yesterday. So right now we are passing this. been selling a fish for three days and then we are going to um, harvest the crones and crabs tomorrow hopefully it's too early right now because we need to um, get rid of this fish before we start the other harvesting and yeah so that when we sell the shrimp and crabs it's um, fresh as well and also we use the coolers so we need to sell them all first so right here as you can see it's the road is very wet guys Guys, if we are going to so guys, if... so guys, if we are going to put ready teddy with um, heavy things again, we need to add molie for ready teddy because um, so that ready teddy will be stronger to carry heavy loads or heavy things at the back and that is our plan and also it makes ready teddy up higher ready teddy has been stressed for the past few days because <laughs> we've been driving all around here in my town yeah i wake up early today and i haven't had breakfast yet but i had some milk Let's go. This is the new road. Yay. Sometimes it takes few drives to get your first customer. 
Selling fish is not easy, especially going to different places where the roads are tough, driving to uphill and downhill. But sometimes it's worth it because it feels like you're traveling and seeing those beautiful views feels worth it. You see different animals on the way. You also see the countryside and the people way of living. So guys, we are here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> It's like a very province province like um, we're going to a forest maybe but there's still a lot of people so and we stopped by here to eat food they have here a few options which is you may like and some fish and some pancit Bon appetit! Skot, yung sam niyo pagluto niya. Ikim kayo? Alam mo, gudin mo naman yung sili. Hmm, ngayon. Alam dyan. Kahalangan yung dong. Kahalangan yung dong. Pasi. This is rough road right here and as you can see this only house selling food you don't see much anything in here just trees and rocks and of course as you can see in my previous video that is the bridge that got broken the past few years typhoon and i'll show you later they're still um, working on it we will pass by in this bridge new bridge and then we go to that mountain right there because there's still a lot of people and, and not that much people or vendors selling something this bridge was destroyed by typhoon venta a few years ago I made a vlog of the place where the houses sweep away with water and rocks. The rocks are huge. The damage was massive. I visited the relocation site as well and talked to the people that affected by the typhoon. And some of my relatives died from that typhoon. You'll see in that video, the roads on the way here are not cemented. If you are interested, the video link above. Watching my old videos makes me feel lucky to where I am today. How four years past changed my life so much. I am so thankful and thanks to you guys. And thank you Lord God for everything. Driving on this road to sell fish but no sales, I felt it's not worth it for Ruddy Teddy. We took this road because no other vendor wants to drive on this road, especially those vendor using motorcycles. We are lucky we have four wheels, but people still don't buy because they are lack of income. After we sell all of the fish, we probably don't do it again this kind of selling. It takes so much gas, time, and effort. Better to sell them to resellers even though we won't get much. I need to find another way to earn for Sophia. But this is a nice experience. I do like the scenery but sometimes scary. Because we don't know what kind of road we are going to drive and I'm scared for Ready Teddy. What if Ready Teddy got broken in the middle of nowhere? So 
guys. <laughs> Reddit Sari is overheating because um, you know it's so elevated and Reddit Sari is not so strong enough for the elevated road so it's overheat and they said we can't pass over this road because they broke it because they're gonna fix it and so we just we just decided to go back to where we are and head to a different route because um, we don't want to be stuck in here because we don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere where there's no body in here i mean there is there's some some people but not so much like for example if we are out of gas because we thought we are out of gas but we are overheating searching for something that ain't lost have a god our lines cross we're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstood So guys, we are <laughs> stuck in here because we are out of gas And we borrow some motorcycle from my cousin Richard was there to buy some gasoline for at least two liters and then this is the hardest when you don't when you're out of gas because the gas the fuel monitor right here is not working it's been a year i guess and we haven't fixed it so we don't know when we are going to <laughs> when we are going to be out of gas because there's no um, gas monitor or fuel monitor a fuel gauge yeah we don't have fuel gauge anyway we're waiting and i'm so tired wow there's still a lot in here they're jumping i think they're happy because of the new water and then I can't see that way. Look how many they are in here. I think they're waiting for food and they love the new water. There's more. Wow. You see? They're getting many and many. Wow, they're gonna see them. Oh, trao. Ah, kan ni. Laru kita yo. Ah, dah kau dah Wow. Awak nak naik tak? Awak nak naik? Mahawat nanti sila. Mahawat nanti doai. Mawa <laughs> water you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and don't forget to click the notification bell to keep you updated thank you and bye everyone when i saw you i would lose control made me feel like there was no tomorrow should have told you that you're beautiful but the days passing now it's so long ago